Welcome to another episode of the Nearly Baron Podcast. I'm Ronaldo McKenzie and with me is Dante Nosa. Dante, we have a lot we have lots of news to get into, but we have two major stories. First, there is a press release concerning the Urban Indian Society challenging the misclassification of American and West Indian families' heritages. And secondly, Donald Trump, there's breaking news. Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, indicted, and Trump appointed Judge Aileen Cannon oversee, will oversee the initial proceedings. And we are no stranger to that name, Aileen Cannon, Judge Aileen Cannon, because Judge Aileen Cannon is the judge that is overseeing the Castro v. Trump loss or trial in Florida with John Anthony Castro who is a contributor to this show and who is the main pl- plaintiff. We'll get into that in a second, but first, there is a press release that we will re- that we will get into. press release here is the press release the urban indian heritage society challenges the misclassification of american and west indian family heritage the neoliberal corporation obtained this and um, and uh, released this press release dated june 8th 2023 yesterday and they it says that the Urban Indian Heritage Society, the UIHS, is making waves with its groundbreaking research and therapy that and theory that challenges the conventional understanding of American families' heritage. In a special presentation at the Jamaican Theological Seminary's Caribbean Thought class, the UIHS will discuss their compelling arguments regarding Jamaica's identity and heritage specifically in relation to the urban Indians and Taino peoples who were the original inhabitants of the land. Okay, they have me picking up on my background and you know, my ancestry line. I know, I actually gave... people to it and go further. Let's see what I find. Well, contrary to popular belief, the, the, the release continues saying that contrary to popular belief, the UIHS contends that Jamaicans may have a rich history connected to the native Indians of the island. While acknowledging the presence of East Indians and the Chinese who arrived during the era of indentured labor, the UIHS emphasizes the need to re-examine Jamaica's history beyond the predominant African heritage resulting from the era of the slave trade. Dr. Nolan Fontaine and author Phoenix Moon founders and heads at the Urban Indian Heritage Society will lead the presentation and present and present their research findings. They argue that genealogical research reveals an urban American Indian root in Jamaica, challenging the established narrative of the island's history. Now, I won't get into that, but that will be unveiled later on. But in addition to their research, the UIHS has organized a petition entitled The Remedy for the Misclassified People of North America. The petition demands the enactment of the American Indian Inclusion Act to address the mistreatment and erasure of the misclassified American Indian by the United States government. 
The petition includes a comprehensive list of demands, such as reclassification of ethnic birthrights, the return of occupied American Indian lands, restitution, punitive damages, and institutional reform. Key demands outlined in the petition include the establishment of a genealogical committee to examine bloodline lineage, the creation of an oversight committee for tribal membership appeals, and the recognition of the American Indian political party. The petition also calls for the removal of taxation on American Indian lands, the repeal of H.R. 4238, the special reform bills for social services and education, and the implementation of American Indian studies throughout educational institutions. To bring attention to their cause, the UIHS will present their petition and the detailed manifesto of grievances to the United States Congress. The Society seeks public hearings and the formation of oversight committees to review and implement the American Indian Inclusion Act, aiming for rec- aiming to rectify the historical injustices faced by the misclassified American Indian. Now, the UIHS's special presentation, Dante, at the Jamaica Theological Seminary's Caribbean Thought Class is scheduled for Monday, June 12th, 2023, which is next Monday, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Jamaica time, but 9 p.m. to, sorry, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. North U.S. Eastern time. Again, the UIHS special presentation at the Jamaica Theological Seminary's Caribbean Thought Class, a, thought, a class that I lecture, is scheduled for Monday, June 12, 2023, from 6 to 9 or 7 to 10. The presentation can be accessed via, via a link that is posted in the Neoliberal Corporation's Moral Magazine in the press release. The press release is taken from the Neoliberal Corporation's Moral Magazine website at www. H, um, the, um, https colon forward slash forward slash the neoliberal.com just go to the neoliberal.com and um and that's and you will see a link and a link to the to the um to the lecture so join dr nolan fontaine and phoenix moon and and um and the society as they challenge the misclassification of american families heritage and shed light on jamaica's rich history now for me the inquiries please contact yours truly Ronaldo McKenzie, who is adjunct at the seminary in Caribbean Thought and president here at the Neoliberal Corporation. Now you can email me at Ronaldo. When um, of course we, you can email us here at in, info at the neoliberal.com for more information. Now the Urban Indian Heritage Society is a non-profit organization dedicated to promoting the heritage and rights of American Indians and challenging the misclassification of ind- individuals' ethnic backgrounds. To research, advocacy, and education, the UIHS aims to raise awareness and seek justice for the misclassified American Indian community. Visit them at urbanindianheritagesociety.org. Again, visit them at urban, U-R-B-A-N, Indian Heritage Society.org. And of course, there is a recent podcast that we did about this particular thing, and we encourage attendees to engage in a thoughtful dialogue during the lecture and hope that the presentation by the UIHS will challenge perceived or preconceived notions and prompt further exploration of Jamaica's diverse heritage. The, now, Jamaica, just, for you know, just so you know, the Jamaica Theological Seminary that I teach, that, will be how, that, that, that has the course Caribbean Thought, an amazing institution which launched in 1960, the, the JTS, Jamaica Theological Seminary, is an institution grounded in the Christian community and prim- primarily serving the people of Jamaica and the Caribbean with a uni- and, and its diaspora with a university-level program of study. You can visit them at jts.edu.jm. The Neoliberal Corporation, of course, is, was launched on March 23, 2021, and we are a think tank, news commentary, social media, publishing company, which, and we are serving the world today to solve tomorrow's challenges by making popular what was the monopoly. Visit us at thenearlyboard.com. Of course, we'll be right back after this. We have another we have another story to get to, and I'm just check, looking at the um the article that I wrote. It has the neoliberal incorrectly spelled. I need to update that.
absolutely ridiculous. We will fix that. But there is another breaking story that that we have to get to. Um, we have to fix that. I'm just noticing that. Um, but it, um, we have another story that we have to get to. Um, it's the story about Donald Trump. Um, former President Donald Trump indicted, and is and that is that's not the and that is not the big story actually. It's really not. This man has been indicted already. Multiple times. I mean, yeah, I know. Yes, but I mean he's wow, been this... attacked and he's won every. But I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why in this news article that we that was published in our in our in our magazine in our magazine and in the journals, and um, entitled news. Former President Donald Trump indicted, but it's not just that. It's not just the indictment that that takes center stage here. Is that is this fact that Trump appointed Judge Eileen Cannon will oversee the initial proceedings? <laughs> no, that is, and we mentioned, we alluded to that earlier. That is major. We will talk about that right after this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's very very interesting with you know, information. <laughs>